Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Today I am here to help Patrice. But Patrice is from South Africa and she tells me that she wants help with the theme for her dad's 85th birthday. She's given me a bit of information so hopefully I've got you covered Patrice. Right, Patrice's dad is a musician so I thought that what you could do is get an LP. These are all vinyls. Now if, for those of you who have complained when I did this the last time that I shouldn't be wasting these vinyls, can I tell you that it's a Reader's Digest relaxing and listening music? It's really bad, I listen to it and seriously, mm, it's not the music that we like to listen to. And anyway, it's all scratched. Um, so I've already shown you the clip on how to actually turn that record or LP or vinyl into a bowl. And it, just to recap, it's really easy. You just put this in the LP, hold it starting again, get your LP, put that into a sink of hot, hot, hot boiling water, and then very quickly take it out, and then all you do is get a bowl like this, push it over there, and then push it down, and as it melts, what will happen is it will get into this shape like this, and you can manipulate it while it's still hot to whichever shape that you want it to be. Now, it's also going to always have a little hole down the bottom there, so, and because you, if you're using fresh or artificial flowers um, or foam, whatever you're putting into there, you need to sort of block that hole up. Because if you're using the grey foam that, um, with artificial forms, then the little gritty bits will come out the bottom there. So just cover that up. And to do that, all I've done is got a piece of some floral tape and I've just put a piece across the top, across there to hold, hide the hole, and I've repeated it on this side as well. Right, I'm your... I've been hunting for flowers, and Patrice, you said that your dad liked waratahs. I've only got artificial ones, and you said that he also, his favorite fruit was a pomegranate, and I love it when you tell me all of the information. Now, I've got a bit of ivy here, and I've got some berries, and I've got this really lovely stuff here, which I wanted to use, and it's got twigs with just a few berries onto it. And the reason I want to use this is because that's going to connect in beautifully with the black's going to throw through to the berry. So just those compliments of colors and, and bringing that color through. Right, to begin, um, if you're using fresh, you'd use the, the green foam. I'm going to use um, the green foam today because that's all I had. So um, if you're watching, and I know who it is, what's it? Martin, I know you'll be watching. Guess what? I've only, I'm using it and I'm telling you why. Now I've also had a couple of uh, requests from what is the difference between the different types of mosses. So just to reiterate again, the grey is what you use for the artificial flowers because it's got its um, constructions really firm and hard. The green is what you use for fresh flowers. You can cheat and get away with using um, the artificial as well, but it doesn't hold it as firmly. When you get your foam, you soak the green foam you soak it in water until the bubbles stop rising to the surface. Right, the other thing I've done here is just to make sure that that stays in place, I've just got a bit of tape and I've put that across there and across there, just a little way down there so that that will just hold that in place because there's nothing worse than things falling out. Right, I've got some ivy here and I've cut this all to around about the same um, width as the container and all I'm going to do with this is just take this and just sort of like ring it around the outside of the container. So I'm going to put a couple of bits there and a bit there. I'll put another piece into there like so. And because it's artificial, it's really great because I can bend and manipulate and do whatever I want to do with this. Also try and cover that, um, the tape, where possible. And I'll put another bit into there like that. Now you can't sort of see that it's a vinyl record, but it, when you look into it as a conversation piece, you'll be able to see that. Right from there, the next thing is to go to these lovely black, berries. I'm just going to put a few into there like that. Now if it is going to be on a table, make sure that you don't take these too high because there's nothing worse than when you're at a dinner party and you're spending your whole time doing this because the flowers are too, or the foliages are too high. Now I just thought that I'd just keep those nice and low. Well it's going to be, it's a little bit higher than what I anticipated but that's okay. Another bit into there, a bit into there and I think that because it's going to be for a man you don't want to have anything too fiddly like roses and gypsophila wouldn't really be what a man would actually like. Now because I've got those blackberries there I'm going to put those little berries into there so that that's transitioned from there it sort of like comes down to something a bit thicker down the bottom and you'll also notice that the berries have got just a, t a slight, slight tinge of 
sort of like burgundy red. The reason I've used those colours is because when I put, look at the pro, at the Waratah, when you look into that, it's actually got that colourway coming through. So if you get stuck, just remember that. Now I'm going to put these berries in and I, the pomegranates and I would love to have been able to have found some fresh ones but look I'm in the wrong season and these actually don't grow here do they? No they do not so I'll cut those bits of gear off get rid of that and with these what I think I would like to do I'm just doing this as I'm going a bit there I'm going to put a little bit over to there and then because I've done that I'm just going to put another little bit into there like so and just bend and manipulate these so that they fall out I'm not nor if I had another three I would actually put those out there to balance it out but I think that just with that bulk in there that's going to sort of like visually make it look like it's balanced Right, I've got two Waratahs, and as I said, I've had to hunt through the box that's got all my bits and pieces in it to get these Waratahs so that um, I could use them. So I'm very pleased now that when I go to th throw things out, I actually think before I chuck so that I do have access to them. Right, and then I'm just going to bring that one there down and into there, and I think that that's looking quite cool and groovy. Now, because, make sure too that the base of your container is nice and flat otherwise you'll get the speed wobbles which won't be very nice right I've got just a few little voids as we call them in the trade I've got a few berries there I'm just going to put those there and I'll take this lot down and over into there right there you have a simple arrangement that I think would be any man would absolutely love and um, by the way Patrice my dad is a musician and when he has his birthday I think I might just do this for him. Now the other thing that you can do with these is lots of times I will to follow a theme through if I've used that as the container there's nothing nice, nicer than using that as your placemat and then you can put your bowls onto that and it's more just trying to create a sort of lovely visual um, stimulation which actually causes lots of chatter and that's what it's all about. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoy doing it for you and I will see you all another day. Mm -hmm.